welcome back to my channel it's been a lot going on so i have to catch y'all up to speed okay i have to catch y'all up to speed to let you guys know the good news so are you ready are you ready for it i got the scholarship Woo! turn up turn up happy y'all i'm so happy like i got this scholarship because i told you in my last video i had applied for the scholarship for the phlebotomy program at my school a local community college in my area and it is official i got the scholarship so classes begin january 22nd um let me pull it up for you guys <laughs> i'm so excited like you guys i cannot wait to start this program so here it is yes you guys <laughs> i got the scholarship i'm so you guys i'm so happy i'm so proud of myself i'm so excited can't wait to start get started it's so exciting i don't really know what to expect so i'm just kind of like shopping on youtube to see like other videos people have made about their first day or what can you expect in clinicals and things like that so i'm ready though i'm ready for it it's the new year it's 2019 it's the first week kind of like the first week week and a half whatever but you guys we are starting off strong i am so ready for this i'm so ready for the future i'm so ready for continue blessings that's coming upon my life i'm so i'm just so grateful i'm so thankful i prayed on this and you guys it came to you're pass. trying to get into a program if you're trying to get into school you want that career you want that dream job just believe and have faith and know that it will come to pass you just gotta think positive thoughts and you just gotta know with all your heart and you get and you have to truly believe that it is yours and whatever you desire to have into your life it can be it's a lot of people out here they they're artists they're singers they're dancers they're athletes they're doctors whatever they are no different than you they weren't they're not more special than you are all it takes is hard work dedication persistence and faith and you have to never give up for yourself i want to let you guys know that right now that is the whole motive of 2019 is to not give up on yourself have faith and just know that if you put in the hard work you'll get everything your heart desires you just have to put in the work nothing comes easy so you have to work for it so that's just what it is but back into this phlebotomy situation you guys i'm so excited to start this career so this this career is like the beginning you know it's like my foot in the door so i plan on doing this you know the whole time i'm in school um i want to get my patient care hours i want to get the experience like i said i'm gonna get my foot in the door so i'll be having this job for a while um yeah i'll be having this job for a while i'll probably stick with this job until i um i'm gonna stick with this job and like through undergrad because i have to go get my bachelor's too so yeah i need that i need that so i can get to that physician assistant program i didn't tell you guys much about that so yeah i don't really speak on it but i'm not gonna say too much you know because you know there's a lot of haters out here and a lot of negative people they'll try to throw those bad juju them bad vibes on your you know on, over your life and your circumstances so i'm not gonna really talk too much on that but your girl has some big things playing you know got some big things working and i'm definitely working towards it i just know it's going to take a lot of hard work and i'm just ready for it i'm so excited i'm so proud of myself i came a long way you guys you have no idea like that's a whole nother video we won't have to talk about that we won't have to talk about that but as you see below the title of this video i switched my major i am no longer doing surgical tech i am switching my major over like i just been thinking and watching videos and i just really took some time to think to myself like do i really want to do surgical tech i mean i'm not knocking no surgical techs out there like all power to you but for me 
I'm just, I just had a lot of thinking and I was just like, mm, I don't think I want to do surgical tech anymore. So I'm switching my major. I'm switching my major to biology and I am switching my major to biology so I can get all my prerequisites done for the physician assistant program. So I want to get all that knocked out the way. So I'm switching my major to biology and that is you guys, I'm gonna need your prayers on this because biology is not easy. It's a lot of math and it's a lot, a lot of science and it's a lot of, it's a lot of terminology and just the way things work and processes and it's just a lot. And you know, I just know that this is really gonna test my faith. I just know that I really have to dedicate myself to this because biology is not easy. It's not an easy major because it's so profoundly wrapped around science it's gonna take a lot of studying it's gonna take a lot of hard work and dedication and i really have to stay focused this year you know i might have slid by last year summer semester and fall semester but i only have a year and a half left you know i only have a year and a half left and it's crunch time i can't just you know get by this time like I told you guys in my last video I'm surprised that I passed fall semester you know so it's like I have to really dedicate myself um I have to really dedicate myself this year and study and focus on things that's more important you know instead of going out going to the casino I don't know if you guys do that but I love the casino I love going out to the bar with my friends and I just know that I really have to focus this year um I have to get this degree. I'm going to get this degree. No, I'm going to get this college degree no matter what. It's an associate's degree. So when I'm when I'm done, when I'm done with this associate's degree, I want to move on so I can pursue my bachelor's. And that's the whole point of me taking biology so I could just get most of my prerequisites done. So when I do transfer to um, a university in our area, I could already have most of my prerequisites done um, for physician assistant because the physician assistant is a master's program so I have to do that for two years and whew, you guys this is why I'm so excited about having this phlebotomy scholarship because I know I have to save so much money because for two years I can't work as a physician assistant you're not really there they don't encourage you to work for two years while you're in that master's program because it's just like going to med school and I know a lot of people say um, physician assistants, they're, they are just like doctors, you know, they just don't have the doctor title, but physician assistants, they are just like doctors, they study a lot, and it's a lot of work they have to do, and most people I've read online, researchers, research says that, you know, most people are now going into physician assistant programs versus pursuing their MD because it's so much you're you're it's less debt you have to worry about you have more freedom to spend with your friends your family if you want to have kids um it's less stressful and also you could switch specialties so it seems like now most people are pursuing physician assistants and it's just that if this is something that i want i just know i have to be so dedicated and i have to really focus and since it's something that I know I do want, I have to switch my major. I have to switch my major and I have to transfer it to biology so I can get these prerequisites out the way. You guys, I'm just, I'm just on clap now because, you know, this is my life. This is my career. You know, I have a son that I have to provide for and it's, it's like I love the healthcare field and I just feel more I just feel comfortable in the healthcare field. I just feel comfortable. I just feel like that since I'm so ambitious and I'm so, I have so many skills and I'm so helpful. I just feel like this, this career field is perfect for me. It fits my personality and I just love it. And I just can't wait for, I just can't wait to see what the future holds for me. And I'm just so happy, so. Yeah, and for my birthday, I went to Massanutten. I was telling you guys I was going out of town, so yes, I did go to Massanutten. Oh, it was so fun. We had a ball. We had like this big mansion cabin type house. It had like one, two, three, 
four, five, six. It had like six rooms, six, seven rooms. It was just so beautiful. It was so big. The guys, so, so most of the guys, they went snowboarding and all that. It was just so fun. We had like a little bonfire. We roasted some marshmallows, watched movies. We ate, oh my gosh, we ate so good. We was drinking, you know, what grown folks do. Some of you guys are underage, you know. You can't drink till you're 21, okay? So don't be sneaking your parents' alcohol. So yeah, we had fun though. I really enjoyed my birthday, I had a good time. And what else did we do? Um, oh yeah, we stayed there till New Year's, so we got to watch the ball drop and we celebrated. You know, just made some New Year's resolutions and some plans and goals and you know, it's a new year. So it's a, you have a fresh start, you have a fresh plate fresh slate you could be whoever you want to be you know you don't have to hold on to that dead weight anymore you don't have to feel guilty you could just start over you know and i just that's why I mostly that's what mostly i love about like new year's because you could always start over fresh there is like another opportunity for you to boss up it's another opportunity for you to get your life together or it's another opportunity for you to continue to slay your goals and continue being on the path of success so I just love the New Year's, you guys. You need to make sure you're taking advantage. Um, me and my sister, actually, we did vision boards. And this is the vision board that I did. Can you see? This is my vision board, you guys. So, on my vision board, I have My Will, My Way as the title. And on this side, I wrote, I have this year college school graduate report card I'm, i aim to get all a's if i get a b then that's fine too because it's not failing so i i, I want to get all a's so um i have my lash company i have elevate my mind self-love on 1000 okay we gotta love ourselves you guys you have to love yourself for who you are you have to accept yourself for who you are you have to ultimately love yourself no one could love you more than you okay so make sure you love yourself i told you guys about that i talked about that in my other video so if you haven't watched that you need to go watch that self-love it's the number one thing we need to do this year more of we need to love ourselves more so I have a few things on here, like I want to weigh 125, you guys, I gained so much weight, I'm like 140, oh my gosh, I want to weigh 125, I have like purchased a dream home, and it's so funny you guys, because when I was cutting these clips out the magazine, I came across my horoscope, and I'm a Capricorn, shout out to all the Capricorns out there, woo, you know, we the, we the goat, okay, we the goat. So my, um, my um, horoscope, it says, you know who you are and what you want. Get ready to hit the ground running. Now's the time to take a leap of faith, Capricorn, and create the amazing life that you always wanted. And that was just like confirmation for me. You know, when I saw that, I was like, oh my God, I got to put that on my vision board. It was just confirmation for me that I'm, that I'm going in the right direction. I'm taking the right path and I'm taking the right steps. And it just let me know to like like take a leap of faith like don't give up like i was struggling like did i want to i was struggling with did i want to switch my major from surgical tech to biology because i just felt that surgical tech was more of a safer route and i'm not gonna lie i doubted myself with biology i was i thought to myself like gosh i can't do this you know so many science classes the math i'm not good at math and i'm just like don't doubt yourself like you know what you want you know you want to be a physician assistant you know that you have to have these science courses down so when i saw this it was just like a sign from god you know just just telling me like no you know exactly what you want you want the life you want that amazing life you're gonna get it so i'm gonna get it you know and i have like other things on here um i want a million youtube subscribers so make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend to follow me subscribe to my channel like this video while you're here and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can be alerted every time i drop a new video i'm gonna come with more content you guys so i just want you to stick with me i want you to watch my journey um it's gonna be a lot of things on this channel it's gonna be it's gonna be a lot you know I have my dream truck on here, some vacations I want to take me and my son. I have 
like a few designer things because I love designer stuff, you guys. I love designer stuff. And I also have like marriage and social media popularity and just a lot of stuff. Brand deals. I want to get some brand deals. I would love to work with Maybelline, Too Faced. You know, just to get some PR packages would be nice. So that's really a goal of mine. So I created this vision board and I'm just so happy that you know, I, I feel like this is th these things that I put on here is they're definitely going to come to pass. You know, I, I already had the scholarship that I wanted and I manifested that so well. So I'm I feel really good. I feel really really confident that everything that I want to have I will receive. This video is going so long. I don't want to make this a long video. I just want to catch up with you guys, let you guys know the good news that yay. I got the scholarship. I'm so happy. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'll probably do another video this week. Catch up with y'all. Let y'all know what's going on. As always, slay like a boss. Boom.